Hey everybody, so welcome to day two of the Q&A and today we're going to discuss beadwork preparation. So how to actually transfer beadwork to a garment. Now the best way to do this is to actually invest in a larger frame and to frame up the fabric of the garments that you're going to be working on. This is known as a slate frame. The one that you've been working on in the foundational level, here's just a quick recap, is the rotating embroidery frame. And as you can see, it's just a 12 inch frame, but it does enable you to learn the basics of framing up, so stretching the fabric across the wall and the weft, and pulling it firm like a drum, ready for couture beading. From there, you may consider working a little bit larger so that you can actually transfer the pattern pieces onto the slate frame and then begin your beadwork from there. So I'm just going to show you the slate frame that I have set up here. So this frame here, as you can see, is a 90 centimeter by 140. So the sidebars here is 90 centimeters. As you can see, the twill tape is wrapped similar to the um, smaller frame that you've been working on. And also, it has uh, the trestles that come separate. So if I actually lift that up, that is separate. So just give you a different angle from that so you can have a look. And these trestles have been made uh, by hand. But I can put a link at the bottom to see if you want to buy them, you can buy some from Ikea or you can buy them from uh, maybe a hardware store as well. So, but Ikea actually do have metal ones and they also have wooden trestles. Okay, so let's just have a look at this in a bit more detail. So what you can see here is I have the pattern piece laid out. And it's actually the top that I'm wearing at the moment. So, this is just an alteration that I've done, okay? So what I've done is I've placed the pattern piece on here. The first consideration is, how do I line up the grain line? So one of the key things is lining up the grain line. Here's the grain line here. You need to line the grain line up with the edge of the fabric, but also what another measurement I would consider is the edge of the wooden frame. Okay, so first we'll place the pattern piece down, just measure across from here to, when I say here, I mean the edge of the fabric. Okay, now remember the, we're pinning 1.5 centimeters away from the edge. Okay, so all of those pins will be the same all the way down. But just to also cross-reference, you can measure to here, place the first pin in there, that's the top of the garment, and then you also want to do another measurement from here, again to the edge of the fabric. Remember this is the selvage edge, which is what you would normally do if you were just making a garment. Again, you're going to measure from this point here to the edge of the frame. So here I've also got seam allowance and I've also got darts. This is the back piece of the top that I'm wearing. Okay, so I've just put some notches here as well so you can see. So what I've done is I've marked using a friction pen and I've added a link below. So a friction pen comes in different colors and it enables you to just use a little bit of steam from the iron and these marks completely disappear. So it's an amazing creation. Make sure you mark in your darts, which is what I've done here. So these darts have been marked in all the way down. And then again, just adding seam allowance. Remember you've got four centimeters at the end here. And then also make sure notches are marked in. A couple of considerations are make sure that when you mark your seam allowance and your darts, thinking about the beadwork, remember you have to sew those darts in 
and join the uh, seam allowance to the lining. So you need to leave about five millimeters away from the edge. So for instance, this top that, this is the pattern piece that we're working on. If this was embellished, I would want to leave five millimeters away so that I can actually run it under the sewing machine. So that's just something that you have to think about. What I also would say is that once it has been finished on the back, and it was a, a block of beadwork, you can actually feel that in by hand afterwards. So here's the dark suppression going down. Just little things like that, if you, again, you've got to think, you've actually got to sew the garment together. Okay, that's it, that was the main question. The friction pen will be added uh, on the link below. And just another point, this is opaque fabric. It is a little bit trickier to bead on. So remember though, foundational level part one is just a recap of the RE technique. So because you're working on opaque fabric, it's actually quite hard to see what beads are coming up from underneath, particularly as a beginner, you're gonna find it quite challenging because you're just learning. So the RE technique is also really effective because you're working on the right side of the fabric. Now you do this anyway when you're doing uh, tamper embroidery. So that's obvious that you would be working with embroidery threads and decorative threads on the right side of the fabric. But the RA technique also enables you to push the bead up onto the hook first and then apply the beadwork. So that's an another really great way to transfer some of the beadwork if you're working on opaque fabric like this one here below. I've attached the links below and tomorrow we're going to look at another question. Also, it's not too late if you do have other questions for me, feel free to either comment below or remember you can send me an email or get in touch via Facebook or Instagram. I'll happily answer any questions and I hope this helps. Remember to look at the video for how to dress a slate frame if, you're, if you already have a frame set up. Uh, if you need a frame, you can order them through the website. And also, there is a possibility it might be worth putting together a video on how to make your own slate frame at home. Now, there is ways of doing this. You do need a little bit of help from someone who can just uh, do a little bit of woodwork. But actually, they're not that difficult. So, I do ship globally with my frames, but they are handmade, so they actually can be quite expensive. So it's just something to consider. Let me know if you want to see a video on how to make your own slate frame. I'll happily put that together for you and I'll actually make one from scratch. That way you can start to develop your own designs by framing up the main fabric base of the garment that you're going to be beading. I hope this helps. I'll be answering the third question tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing you then.